Russell Gahagan coming back at you with another video. Hey, I want to give you something that we did last year, and we're going to do it again this year, which is four tips to help you catch more fish in 2022. And these four tips are, are in my opinion, um, very, very important. They probably seem basic, but from what I've found fishing with a lot of individuals who maybe aren't super experienced or they're weekend anglers um, and or even some experienced, uh, you know, weekend uh anglers, charter fishermen, tournament fishermen, some of these things can also help them as well. These are four tips that I think are super important um, to help you catch more fish in 2022. Number one, never set up going into the waves. I don't care what the wave conditions are. I don't care what the wind conditions are. If there's any kind of wave action that you can feel it in your boat, never set up going into the waves. It's a big mistake people make all the time. I see it almost every morning I go out fishing or every afternoon, I see boats power out, especially you trailerable guys that have, which are a lot of my following. Um, you know, you don't have a big 30 footer sitting at the dock. You have a 18 to 22 foot trailerable boat. Um, don't power out um, and set up going into a two foot wave. Why? Couple things. Number one, it's gonna make it a lot more difficult for you to get your rods in the water. To get them in the water um, correctly, um, and make sure that you get no tangles. It's going to make it difficult because it's going to take you a while to get your sea legs. You're going to be bouncing around, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, another reason is if you have some people in, uh, on the boat that maybe aren't avid fishermen or don't go out that often. If you do get a bite on the setup, which we hope you do, and you're catching a bunch of fish, uh, it's going to make it very difficult for them to land that fish, stand up, and fight the fish correctly um, going into the waves right away. We hope, especially for morning fishing that we're gonna have fast action right away. So why spend that initial setup and, and um, morning action going into the waves and making it more difficult on yourself? So that's the number one tip. Don't set up going into the waves ever. Um, anytime, any place, uh, go with the waves so it makes it easier for you. Um, number two, always put your speed and temp probe in the water first to the desired depth that you think you're gonna fish and make sure you're seeing what you want to see. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, well, Russell, what am I looking for? You should be looking for whatever information you've gathered um, that tells you that the fish will likely be in the same spot that you expected them to be. Give you an example. Let's say it was Saturday. You did very well here out of Sheboygan um, in 80 to 100 foot of water um, and down 40, the temperature was 48 degrees. Okay, you're going to go out Sunday morning. Before you put a rod in the water, you should dump the probe. Regardless of if there was any wind overnight or anything, you should dump the probe down 40 and make sure that you're seeing the temperature that you expect. You should also probably troll for a second or two or a minute and make sure that you're seeing the speed that you expect, not that there was a giant current change or something. I think what a lot of um, inexperienced or fishermen that just don't fish on the Great Lakes a lot don't realize is it's a giant lake. There can be multiple weather patterns throughout the lake. What do I mean by that? It might be storming and blowing south down in Chicago, blowing out of the south, you know, a wind out of the south. It might be sunny and, and bluebird skies and 75 degrees and no wind in Sheboygan. I think if you asked my dad, he'd probably tell you that never happens. Um, and it might be blowing 15 out of the north and uh, kind of chilly up in Door County. That's possible. I've seen it before. I've fished many tournaments around the lake and been communicating, pre-fishing and stuff with my dad in Sheboygan, friends in other places, yada, yada. I've seen as many as about three weather patterns on the lake at one time. What does that mean? That means you can get a current. That means the water can change. That means the temp can change overnight with no wind where you're at. If it's blowing on the Michigan side and not on the Wisconsin side, our water can change. If it's blowing on our side and it's not blowing on the Michigan side, their water can change. Once the wind gets going on our side and pushes our water over there, we'll get their water and all of a sudden everything can be different. Vice versa, same thing. So always put your probe in the water and make sure you're seeing what you want to see before you start fishing. That'll save you some time and it'll make sure that you're in the right location, at least on the start. Um, number three, always set up your lines outside to in. What do I mean by that? Your planer board should go in first, your outside planer board, your middle planer board, your inside planer board, then your outside diver, your inside diver, and your downriggers. Why is that? Well, um, it's because if you get a bite, you can continue to put inside rods in. I think it's a big tendency for people to put downriggers down first or divers down first, especially because a lot of people think those are aggressive rods and get them down quickly while the bite is hot. While that's true, the negative to that is if you get a bite on a downrigger or a bite on a planer board, or excuse me, on a diver right away, you almost can't set any other lines. You now have a line straight behind the boat um, back there with a fish on it. You can't set any 
uh, planer boards into it. But if you start with planer boards, and maybe you get your outside one in, you get your middle one in, you're getting ready to let your inside one out, and, and the outside one takes off, you can now grab that outside one, hand it to somebody um, that is uh, going to fight this fish. And if you wanted to, because it's early morning and the bite's hot or whatever, you could now dump a diver and a downrigger in, because they're not going to get tangled in that planer board way out there. Gets you another couple rods in the water while the bite's hot, until you get that fish in and can reset that side again. So always set up your rods outside to inside. Lastly, this is just a tip, tip number four on how to fight fish, never pump the rod. What do I mean by that? Don't take the rod, pull back and reel going down. Don't, don't do that. Um, we talk a lot about that. I spent a lot of years on charter boats. Um, my dad has been chartering for 40 years. We've changed things over the years. That was definitely something we did many, many years ago. We don't have any charter fishermen, fun fishermen, friends, buddies do any of that anymore. Why? Well, we're using a lot of big gear now. Uh, flashers and flies, flashers and vegan rigs, fl flashers and meat rigs, all kinds of stuff. And when you pull that rod back, you're pulling that flasher through the water. When you go to, to, to go down and reel, every time you go down and reel, you're not instantly picking up line. You will give some slack, and when you give that slack, you're giving that opportunity for that flasher to drop or whatever it may be, maybe a pump handle weight to drop and create slack line in the um, between you and the fish. What that's going to do, it's going to wear a hole in the fish's mouth. Pressure, no pressure, pressure, no pressure, pressure, no pressure. That's a negative. You're definitely going to lose more fish doing that. So what do we like to do? We like to hold the rod at a 45 like this, turn the handle consistently, at a steady pace and use our drag system to allow the fish to pull line out when he wants to. When he wants to go, he can take line. When he lets some of that pressure off and gives up a little bit, we can gain line. By doing that, we've increased our catch rates tremendously. I know you can create, uh, increase your catch rates tremendously. And number four will be a big tip for you to catch more fish. So on a recap, tip number one, never set up going into the waves. Tip number two, Always put your probe down first before you put any rods in the water. Make sure you're seeing what you want to see. Number three, always set up outside to in, outside planer boards all the way into downrigger last. And last but not least, don't pump the rod. Hold it at a steady 45, real steady all the time until the fish hits the net. Those are four tips that are going to help you catch more fish in 2022. Good luck and good fishing.